guys, Table here, bringing you another Triple B showcase, repping the Triple B experience like you already know. I uh, haven't done a showcase for a while, going to be unboxing a few figures, doing a couple videos today. Finally got a nice stash of figures, and today this video is the Spider-Man Retro Wave 2. So we got Spider-Man in the Mach 1 Spider Armor. Every 90s kid will love that figure. Shocker. And Hammerhead. And this is a cool wave that Hasbro has been putting out um, of these Spider Man figures. They're finding ways to re release figures that were hard for collectors to come by or uh, putting a little bit of a different spin on some figures. Like this Hammerhead here. They had one other hammerhead, and, but it was a multiple figure situation where they just had a suited body and you had a chameleon head, a J. Jonah Jameson head, and a hammerhead head. And uh, so now he gets his own figure, which I figure is very hard to come by. So that's cool that they did that. Um, you have Shocker here. They have released a Shocker in the past, but it was a more modern Shocker from his time on the Thunderbolts. So now you get his uh, more classic look, and then obviously Spider Armor Mach 1, which is just, like I said, that's a, a 90s kid's dream. This figure and character design uh, wasn't around for very long in the comics, but if you saw it um, in that time, you, you know, it's universally loved. So um, I'll dive into these. I'll start with Hammerhead. You know, the packaging is awesome. It looks the same as the first one. It's this retro line they've been doing different um, instances of. They have some X-Men retros, some, they were calling them vintage. Now they call them retro line, where the packaging looks like it did back in the 90s when Toy Biz had the license. Uh, they did a wave of Fantastic Four figures, and it's, it's really fun. Um, and some of these looks are also based off of the animated series from the 90s. So a lot of nostalgia and love to 90s uh, Spider-Man and Marvel. Let's see how open this here. Now I didn't collect the whole wave. Um, as, as you can see on the back. The entire wave is the three figures I have here. Ben Riley's Spider-Man suit, Hobgoblin, and the symbiote black Spider-Man suit. Uh, I already have the three that I don't have with me. The Hobgoblin, the Ben Riley, and the symbiote. Now the Ben Riley is a little different. Um, they did a Spider-Man, just a classic Peter Parker Spider-Man in the first wave, the same way, and they changed a little bit of the color scheme and around the eyes to make it look more like the 90s Spider-Man. Whereas like the Spider-Man action figures I have have a more uh, modern mask look to them. Uh, but that wasn't enough for me to feel the need to get another Ben Riley Spider-Man. But it's really cool for the people that missed out the first time around because the Ben Riley Spider-Man is up there. Pop Goblin is way up there. Uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, they've released a couple of them, so I don't know how hard he is to come by now. But they also released a Kingpin Deluxe figure. Oh boy. There we go. And uh, they're releasing a Rhino Deluxe figure, which a Kingpin and Rhino were builder figures. So they're a lot on the secondary market if you missed them the first time around. So that's a cool thing they're doing for collectors, give them another chance if they're late to the game. Right here. Great figure already. Um, happy to add him to the shelf with other Spider-Man robes. Kind of basic, but that's what the figure should call for. Not much to it. Um, he comes with an extra set of hands. 
open hand and grabbing hand, uh, baseball bat, and then the figure. And the figure looks awesome. All of the detail on the suit is great. The face sculpt and the head sculpt with that big flat head looks awesome. So that's a pretty good figure. Uh, the suited figures aren't the most fun figures, but you know, that's what it should be. So we'll go there. The shocker now. Like I said, I have the other shocker. I actually had two versions of it. It was identical, except one had a little Thunderbolt logo on the belt buckle and his time in the Thunderbolt. Um, but this is, when I think of Shocker, this is what I think of. Uh, this looks just like out of a cartoon. Alright. This is an awesome figure. Um, the detailing, the sculpting is really great because they have his suit has a diamond pattern in it that they nailed. Um, the sculpting on the face looks awesome. The gloves or gauntlets, I should say, they look really good. I'm very happy that they released this figure. Okay, so that's that. And then he comes with an extra set of uh, hands with gauntlets that are open hands. And then these effects that you're more than accustomed to if you've been collecting Marvel Legends. It could mean anything at this point. And for this figure, they mean shockwaves. Okay. And last, but absolutely not least, save the best for last. Like I said, this, if you were... A Spider-Man fan in the 90s. Um, this suit that I believe he only had for one issue really left an impression. They even featured it in the 1994 animated series in an episode. Uh, so when I saw, this was on my wish list, and when I saw that they finally announced this figure, I was ecstatic. And that's, this is an awesome figure. Looks great. The paint is great. When the pictures released of this figure, when they first announced it, um, I don't know if it was just the prototype, but the head armor paint didn't match the rest of the body armor paint. And that had me a little worried. Cause like I said, this is a figure that I was waiting for. Um, but it's perfect. You know, they made the changes and it looks amazing. All right. So now out of the four spider armors, we have three of them. We just need Mach 2, which is the bulletproof armor with the yellow designs on it. He has his web shooting posed hands and he's got webs webbing that as far as i know are different molds of webbing so that's cool something different um but these figures are awesome we'll look at them up close and personal here in a little bit i'll give my ratings for them but I, um spoiler alert they're going to be very favorable ratings so there you have it the initial unboxing for spider-man retro wave 2. All right. Okay, here we are. Spider-Man Retro Wave 2, Hammerhead Shocker, Spider Armor Mach 1. Let's get into it under the lights. All right, first up, Hammerhead looks awesome. Look at the sculpting on the face. Look at all the wrinkles. Hell of a job they did on that face sculpt. See how flat his head is. The textured hair though looks great the wrinkles in the back of the jacket there um, really good detailing on the jacket and if you look the jacket is actually it's 
hard to show you, but it's not all molded as one piece. The suit jacket and the vest are separate, so it gives it that nice like layering, which is a cool addition. Um, baseball bat, nice detail here. He's actually got some brass knuckles on his hand. That's cool. Um, but the suit looks great. The dark blue with the black stripes, that looks cool. He's got dress shoes, but more, most importantly here, if you look around his feet, how the suit pants kind of like ruffle up, he stands perfect. Um, in prior videos where I had suited figures, the pants and the shoes don't jive well, and it's really hard to get the figures to stand. So looks like they've alleviated that issue. Maybe it's just going to be on this figure, but I hope not. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with the figure. Glad they found a way to re-release uh, Hammerhead. Put another one out. Because like I said, in the unboxing, they've done a Hammerhead, but it wasn't a true Hammerhead figure. It was a three-in-one deal where they just threw a Hammerhead head into a figure with a suit. So that's great. Found a way to get them back out there. All right, next up, a figure I'm very, very happy with. Marvel Sh Shocker. The detailing on this figure is really good also. Um, as you can see, just like in the comics and the animated series, he's got that diamond pattern actually um, in the sculpting. And that runs everywhere where there's yellow. He's got that, so that's awesome. That's dead on. He's got these awesome gauntlets. They look great. He's actually got two sets of hands. So the gauntlets pop off up at the upper forearm. Nice detail there to make it easy. Give him different hands. Um, color scheme and everything is perfect. Exactly how it should be. And then the, the sculpting on the head mask is awesome. Now it looks exactly, it's got the ears, the bends where the ears would be. And you can see where the nose and the mouth and everything would be. That looks exactly like somebody has a mask over a face. So, in the diamond even goes down into the crevices where the eyes are. I mean, they put a lot of detail into this figure, which is awesome. Because I have the other shocker that they released. Like I said, in the unboxing, it was a more modern shocker. Wasn't really happy about it, but, you know, you got to have a shocker if you're collecting Spider-Man rogues. Here's the hands. And then, like I said, these effects that if you've collected Marvel Legends for any amount of time, you're more than familiar with those effects. So I love this figure also. Same thing as Hammerhead. I'm really happy they found a way to release it. Um, the Spider-Man Retro Wave has been really good for new collectors that missed out on certain figures and then, you know, getting new figures like this guy. Spider-Armor Mach 1. I think I said it a few times in the unboxing video. If you were a Spider-Man fan in the 90s, if you read the comics, you absolutely love this suit, even though I think it only made it one issue before it got destroyed. For whatever reason, it's become iconic to people from that age group. I love it. It even made an appearance in one episode of the animated series. But this figure is awesome. The detail, you know, you see the texture everywhere where there's black, there's texture. Got the lines in here. I mean, it really looks like, you know, it was an upgraded suit like that he put effort into. The paint app on the back on the spider is picture perfect. There's not a bit of uh, over paint. There's only silver where there should be. The helmet mask looks fantastic. You know, they didn't use the vacuum seal or whatever like chrome shiny paint but it still has a shine to it as you can see in this video under the lights it looks perfect so 
Got it on the arms, across the shoulders, head, the chest, belt, boots, knee pads, tops of his feet. That is a perfect representation of Spider Armor Mach 1. Couldn't be more happy with it. That was a figure that was on my wish list for a long time. So they made me a very happy action figure collector when they put that out. Now three of them back up in the lineup here. And then the spider armor came with, he's got closed fist hands. And then possibly new web accessories, I don't know if they've released ones like that before or not. Um, but there you have the three figures that I needed out of the Retro Wave 2 Spider-Man line. Hammerhead. Uh, we'll go four. Uh, four, four and a half. Let's do four and a half, actually. Yeah, Hammerhead will be four and a half. The detail on his face and everything. It's an awesome figure for, you know, a kind of lackluster character. They went above and beyond for that figure. Shocker. I'll do four and a half on also. Just personally for me, this is one of my favorite Spider-Man figures I have now. Uh, that's how much I wanted a classic looking Shocker. And then surprise, surprise, Spider-Armor is going to get five out of five. That's just a perfect figure. Uh, everything I was hoping it would be before they announced it. And then when they announced it, I was a little worried from the original pictures the head looked like it was going to be a little off and it's not they nailed it so really good wave i didn't need the other figures but there you have it spider-man retro wave 2 killed it so until next time guys later